Hey guys, so The Last Jedi, Luke's death, it was extremely unexpected, and while it was very symbolic, beautiful, and emotional, it left me with an extremely empty feeling as I left the theater. They killed off Luke Skywalker, my hero. The most powerful and optimistic Jedi turned into this sad and strange hermit on an island who fishes all day and suffers from his past, cutting off all ties of his Force powers by choice and keeping himself in the dark from everyone that he cared for. Now, my theory is that he was still trying to figure out how to defeat Snoke when Rey found him. However, I guess we won't know until episode nine, hopefully. I'm starting to believe that these movies are all about the Skywalker children and Rey. And to do that, they have to close off Luke's heroic arc, which sucks, but hey, it's not like we can make them do what we want, right? Who knows, two years is a long time, so maybe they'll change things around. Anyways, this video is about something super simple that I thought should have been corrected, however, for whatever reason, it wasn't. I have searched the internet and metaphorically shook it upside down to find why Luke's mechanical hand didn't fall to the ground with him, thinking tons of different theories as to why it didn't. Maybe he just teleported and didn't die. Maybe he was dead all along. However, finally, in a little blurb in an article that had nothing to do with it, I found the answer and it's very disappointing. During the Q&A with Entertainment Weekly, Ryan pointed out a slight flaw with the vanishing scene. He says, we were in the other room saying, a steel hand should clunk to the ground. That's it. That's all the article had to say about that. And I guess for that matter, Ryan Johnson. As the article then goes on to explain Mark Hamill's reaction to reading Luke being executed from the Star Wars universe, which they claim was denial. I think that word is an understatement for Mark. I'm in denial. Heck, I'm sure many of us are in denial. But imagine being Luke Skywalker yourself, acting him out your entire life. The person who embodied this mythological man that has come to touch so many people's lives. Whether just for entertainment or for words of wisdom, acts of courage, righteous deeds, or immense mental strength. Carrying that torch with you every day of your life. I'm sure Mark was devastated. One of the things Mark said to Ryan during filming was, Is this how you see me? Is this how you see Luke Skywalker? Now he has gone on to later say, now thinking that it's a perfect ending to Luke for this story, which I think he's telling the truth as this story, from what I'm learning, has nothing to do with Luke, more so about Rey and Finn and the rest of the new characters. And that was that guys, so the mechanical hand which should have fallen to the floor when Luke's body vanished off the cliff and into the sky was supposed to drop with his robes. However, as Ryan said it, it was just a flaw that they missed. I think this would have made us perfectly think right back to when Luke lost the hand in the first place, taking us back to Bespin all those years ago where he was fighting Vader for the very first time after training with Yoda. I think the hand dropping could have added a really nice touch to an already emotional scene. However, now I hope that this video could create some clairvoyance around the matter. Let me know what you thought about Luke's ending in the Star Wars universe. Do you think it was too short and rushed? Or do you think that's the last that we'll see of him? Or is it just the beginning of many new things to come? As I have said, transcending into the Force is just a way of becoming even more powerful, just like Yoda. Thank you for watching this episode of Star Wars Theory, everyone. Until the next episode, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always. <laughs>